Just relax and be smart. Together, we will save your husband. Go ahead. We're ready, Mrs. DuPont. Hello? Mrs. DuPont, as I had indicated before, this will be our last call. I take it you have received the camera? Yes, I'm looking at the photos right now. Good. But if you want to see your husband again, besides in photos, you will finish the product. I'm working as hard as I can. It's, it's hard to focus without him being right here for me. I'm sure the memory of your muse will be enough to keep him alive. It isn't his memory. It's his love. He is the air that I breathe. This is what keeps me alive. If you cut one hair on his head, I will find and exterminate you, you insignificant termite! You cut me to the quick. If you insult me again, it will be your husband who gets cut down. Calm her down. We don't have a trace yet, and we only have one opportunity to get this right. Don't burn out now. We're so close. I just want to hear him. Yeah, you can talk to him, but if I hear something I don't like, he's kindling. Tara? Hello? The sound of your voice is more refreshing than the first winter snow. Forest. You were painting me. In that moment, I was the only thing that you could see. You're so beautiful. The sun never warned me like the sight of you did that day. I wanted to move to you, but I stayed still while you painted. Now, from that moment on, I knew that I wanted to give you everything that I had to make your life perfect. I was all in green that day. That's not the way I remember it. You were wearing orange. And when you saw me, you started shaking like a leaf in the breeze. It was my first assignment of the fall semester. And uh, I was drawn to your presence. You seemed so strong. But it was your vulnerability that made me feel like I was home. Ironic how it was your taking a safety for granted that landed us here. Don't you think that's clear to me now? What's clear to me is that you are not capable of delivering those pieces to me. Since that is the case, we will take our original demand. We can't give in, Tara. We can't afford that. No one can. Shut up. There must be some sort of compromise we can come to. So, Big Brother is aware of what's going on. This is simple economics. There is nothing you can do. We will do what is needed. You will never win this. Then you just lost. We'll get our forgeries from someone else. Kill him. What? No! You may take me down, but I've already laid the seeds of the future. I will live forever, and there's nothing that you can do about it. My son will grow to see many sons of his own. We know who and what you are. And there is no way that you'll be stronger than all of us. Forrest. I love you, Tara.